What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. Listen, I get contacted by people from all over the country. I get contacted by people from all over the world. A couple days ago, I just happened to get a message from somebody in the Czech Republic. Can you imagine? Yeah, me. Reached out to me, said, hey, listen, I know I've asked you this before, but can you please do Concord Academy? Well, guess what? Today is your lucky day. I am feeling super generous today. So guys, without further ado, Concord Academy. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning into another episode. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. It really helps out, and I really appreciate it. So what can I tell you? Concord Academy. Guys, let me just say that this was not one that was really on my list. They're not terribly important to me. <laughs> I'm not sure why, uh, maybe because it's a fairly small school. I mean, I think they have less than 400 students that go there. Oh, I'm going around, I'm asking, does size matter? Yes, it matters. Campus is smaller than 40 acres. You know, I mean, most of these places that we review, I mean, you know, they got a lot of students and the campuses are two, three, four, five hundred acres. You know, anyway, the Concord Academy located in Concord, Massachusetts. Where have you heard that name before? You know, I, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is the Revolutionary War. You know, the, the Battle of Lexington and Concord. I mean, you know, we're talking about like the beginning of the Revolutionary War. I believe that the first shots were fired at... Um, the old bridge, I think it's called the old bridge or old north bridge or something with old and something with bridge in it. And it's located in Concord. Anyway, yeah, Concord Academy, uh, co-ed, I believe it's nine through 12. I'll give you some more specific details in a little bit, but, um, you know, some pretty famous alumni have gone there. One that really stands out to me is, uh, a journalist, um, who also was, uh, I believe the co-director of a really, really great documentary called Restrepo. If you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. His name is Sebastian Younger. Um, I believe that he went to the Concord Academy. Uh, Caroline Kennedy went to the Concord Academy and, um, a bunch of other people went there. Oh, you know who else went there? The queen or the previous queen of Jordan, like queen, Noor or Noor. I don't know how you pronounce her name, but she also went there in the 60s. So yeah, look, let's just get right into it. Let me give you some quick stats first. Okay, here we go. Concord Academy located in Concord, Massachusetts. Uh, it is a boarding school, grades 9 through 12, approximately 395 students. The yearly tuition is $65,850. Not cheap. The acceptance rate is 25%. The average class size is uh, average class size is 12 students, and uh, they rank in the top 20 of all the boarding schools in the entire country with the low acceptance rates, high average SAT scores, and high SSAT scores. Uh, it is a non-denominational school. It was founded in 1922. 36% uh, students of color, 10% international students, only. 40% of the students board. Hmm. Okay. That's, you know, out of all the schools that we have kind of reviewed, guys, I mean, that's, I think this one has the highest number of day students that we've ever reviewed. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, now, this is amazing. Check this out. The average SAT score, 1440. Wow. That's like... That's pretty awesome. Uh, there is no Saturday classes. The dress code is casual. Student to teacher ratio is six to one. Eighty-three percent of the faculty have advanced degrees. They do not offer a summer program. The endowment size is seventy-two point nine million, and the percent of students on financial aid is only twenty-five percent. Seventy-five percent of the kids that go there are full-paying 
families. Man. I mean, wow, that's like insane. I mean, yeah, I mean, think about that. 75% of the students pay full tuition. 60% of them are day students. So most of the kids are local. Majority of the kids are local. And three-fourths of the students uh, come from pretty wealthy background. So look, you guys take that for what it is, but, uh, look, I'm just here to kind of regurgitate, uh, some stats to you. So look, without further ado, let's get to it. Concord Academy. It's truly a place that allows you to discover things that you weren't expecting to find. The students are actually responsible for driving the community themselves. So yeah, as a lot made it really be more confident now. Okay, so like I guess internally or whatever, like you know, they referred to Concord Academy as C A. Whatever. Over the years I think C A has become a second home to me. It has given me the confidence that I can do difficult things. That is a lot of freedom to give a high school student to say that what you Quess? Is that matters. his name? Quess? Quess? I don't know. The honesty of the community, the openness, acceptance that everyone has for you, you don't have to zone this aside to act like someone who you aren't. There's everything that was completely outside my comfort zone, and I ended up loving it because of how willing my teacher was to sit down and just move <laughs> And just do his job, or her job. Everything. You know, I'm not just interested in like one thing. It's not really like I have to win my Well, I hope not. You can kind of find your home in multiple places. The friendships and the bonds that you make, not just between students, but also between faculty, house, parents. It's something that's really a part of the CA community. Okay. Okay. Pretty run of the mill marketing video. Um, you know, again, it's not a tour. We didn't see like the dorms, the cafeteria, classrooms, common air, blah, 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 whatever. Let's check out another. But I do like the logo. I think the CA Wood experience is a very unique one because we are such a close knit community. I describe the CA. Okay, guys, let me just come right out and say that every single school that I have reviewed, and it's been a lot of them so far, I think this is number 30, every single marketing video that I have watched, every single school has said, we are a close knit community. And I'm sure it is. But, guys, like, come on, you know, let's. Let's try to like, like, I don't know. Let's try to like describe our schools like, I don't know, like a little bit more individually or something. I don't know. Whatever. Great experience. Add fun. I think it's basically living with your friends. Your house parents that care a lot about you. Maybe the whole thing. Amazing. I would describe the CA boarding experience as one that you're still on campus, but it <laughs> I would describe the CA boarding experience as the majority of students don't board. Like you're at home with your friends or the people that you live with, and it sort of transforms the campus. Being a boarder really builds students' confidence because they get to practice the leadership and collegiality that is important on their sports teams and in their classrooms and in the theater and whatnot, but they practice that until they go to bed. And so we see so many emerging leaders in the house because those skills are constantly being cultivated. Concord really gives up that nice vibe of being a small town that really knows the you know, community. Just being from you. Yeah, like, you know, What's really interesting about Concord Academy is that it's located in downtown Concord, Massachusetts. 
which is your quintessential New England small little town. You know, and I would I don't think it's a stretch to say that it's probably slightly more on the posh side of New England towns rather than like, you know, some backwoods like, you know, off the beaten path uh small town. Um you know, they have like all kind of like, you know, little boutiques and uh upscale little eateries and whatever. But one thing that I did notice when I was on Google Maps checking the place out is that like right next to like the academy is like a like shoe repair store, you know. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of weird, you know. Whatever. Generally, like it's very loud here. It's very quiet and serene and tranquil. You can basically find everything in the town of Concord. The train is like it's literally right downtown. It's like on the main street. Gonna walk away. It's very easy to just be at CA and then an hour later be in Boston and explore Boston and everything else offered. There are also plenty cool. of on campus weekend activities. There's never a time when you're not doing anything. Being a house faculty is so rewarding because some of the things that we help students with, they're just so important. <laughs> Well, it better be rewarding because let me tell you something. I know a lot of people that used to be students and then went back to school to become like teachers. And when you're a teacher at boarding school, you usually also have to be a house parent as well. And like you have no privacy. You get like students knocking on your door like at all hours of the night. Um, You know, I've had friends that were like house parents and like, you know, it's like you're living on dorm again. Like you kind of were in high school, but. I don't know. You can have like booze and, you know, nicotine in your, you know, room. It's not just a room. It's like a small apartment, you know, but uh, I remember like sometimes like in boarding school, like, <clears throat> like we would see like house parents like sneaking in their like boyfriends or girlfriends at night. And we would all be like yelling out the window like, yeah, look, who's going to get some tonight? I don't know why I just thought of that. Whatever. When you help a child through a rough patch, it feels really good when you get to the And not for anything, but that's got to be kind of weird to be dating somebody who's like a house parent at a boarding school, right? It's like, hey, you want to come over and like Netflix and chill? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Well, like, you know, call me when you get there and I'll let you in. Uh, you know, we have to go up three flights of steps and, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just like kind of weird, you know? Whatever. Uh, some of the hardest times lead to the best relationships. Well, I think if I were to describe um, my favorite memories from being a boarder, it really has to start with the everyday little memories. Okay, we got a little, we saw a little snippet of like one of the dorm rooms there, you know, pretty typical, whatever. Okay, let's check out one more. Nice. I, I kind of like I'm kind of getting the vibes like have you guys ever heard of like you know schools that are also they're called like country day schools I kind of get the feeling that this place is kind of like a 
I don't know why I'm thinking like a country day school, you know, it's like a, I don't know, like, I don't know where I'm going with this, but like, I don't really feel like it's a boarding school. It is a boarding school, but because the majority of students like don't board, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like a really kind of nice school. That's like super posh and you know, it's kind of like, you know, you go there because it's like, like the who's who goes there. I don't know. Am I am I wrong? That's the vibe I'm getting at this place. Whatever. When you're on a team, your entire school is supporting you, and your entire school has your back. I think we're we spirit around it. it. Brings everyone together. Like they have a twenty five percent acceptance rate, right? So 75% of the kids who apply aren't getting in. So it's not like they have a problem with enrollment, right? And they certainly don't have a problem with full paying families. Uh, I, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is like a, like a, you know, like you're paying for the name here, right? And you're also probably paying for the status right not only for the students but also the families you know because people like to like mingle in the same circles you know it's like oh does your kid go to concord academy oh yeah absolutely you know so i don't know i could be wrong but that's i'm my vibrations are usually pretty accurate here and i'm this is you know guys comment down below let me know if i'm wrong i don't i would be surprised if i am a really positive vibe. This year I was elected captain of the wrestling team. There's definitely a difference seeing this is one of my second year on the team. My teammates and my coaches saw things, aspects of who I am that I didn't really know about until I was a captain and I got that leadership role. We don't have a bar here at JV. We all run together every day. Every time we race, we're always cheering really? on. I think that's how CA works with sports and a culture, but we like to see success. Nep ste it's not NEPSAC. The shirt doesn't say NEPSAC. NEP Stay Champions Championship 2015. New England Preparatory School. To, I don't know. Guys, comment down below. What league are they in? Being proud of yourself. Being proud of yourself. What other schools are in this league? Because of the kindness and mentorship of upperclassmen during basketball season. It felt nice knowing that there was somebody older than me that was like there for me. So I knew that when my time came to be an upperclassman, I could pay them by uh, being a mentor to the underclassmen. You get so close. Picturesque. There's been so many different settings and so many different ways that I feel like they know me more than a lot of people. It's so vital for everyone to be able to count on each other to support each other. I would say it's like a little family and all these together just to like make it so much better too. There you go. Concord Academy. Guys, there you go. Concord Academy located in Concord, Massachusetts. I like the logo. The school looks really nice. This is a tough one. This is really kind of like a tough one because, you know, again, I feel like the majority of students, I don't, I don't feel like the majority of students. I know the majority of students are not boarders. They're local. And the, the other thing that's really pressing against my, you know, cranium here is that 75% of the students are full paying families. That is serious money. You know, like most of these, I don't know, I guess, I guess this, the Concord and surrounding areas have uh, got some pretty successful families there. It looks cool. Um, I think the marketing videos were, they played it really safe, um, but they still did a fairly decent job of capturing, you know, some nice things. I didn't really, you know, but again, what we didn't really get a tour of the place. So like we didn't really we didn't really say like, hey, here's what a typical dorm is. Hey, here's what the dining hall looks like. 
hey, here's, you know, some of the activities that, you know, you could be involved in. I mean, they kind of highlighted like the town and um, I guess I would too, because like, you know, the campus isn't that big. Although I will say this, like, I don't know, it didn't really look cramped to me. And let me say something else that, you know, a lot of these schools have three, 400 acres of their, you know, size of their campuses, but they only use 20 acres. You know, that's the thing. Like, you know, a lot of these schools, a lot of the acreage is just taken up by like woods and stuff like that. So I don't know, whatever. You know, in some weird way, like this place kind of reminds me of Greenwich Academy, Greenwich, Connecticut. I don't know why. I just kind of feel like it's it it's giving me that vibe where it's like a private school, but we also have like a boarding thing as well. I don't necessarily maybe and that's maybe one of the reasons why this place wasn't really on my list because I don't know. I just, I don't know. Um, high SAT scores though, and the campus looks really nice. That boarding school, dude. I'm gonna give you the dude score. 8.5. 8.5, again, as I always say, and I probably will continue to say this, I think it's a fair score for what it is. I don't know if it necessarily has the reputation of like the Andovers and Deerfields and the, you know, wherever, okay? But it does look like a pretty nice place and they, uh, you know, look, like I said, a lot of these boarding schools are out in the middle of nowhere. But the fact that this place is right downtown, man, this kind of like, it's kind of like is a little bit of a screwball for this channel because I think this is like one of the only ones. I mean, there's a couple other ones that are, you know, in a little town like Choate and uh, what's the one up on the river? Um, uh, Kent. That's right. Yeah. That one's like close to like a little town. So whatever. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a quick one, but uh, look, when I get requests from international places, sometimes I just think to myself, you know what? Today is a day for giving. And uh, to the Czech Republic, that is what you have received. So, guys, thanks so much. Please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. terribly important to me.